Hey YouTube, it's All Things Pretty, and you already know what it is. It's the house dress, y'all. So, just putting it out there before y'all start whispering about me, because I can hear you. I'm coming to you to do the tag uh, that Poet Spice did. I think it was a positivity tag. And there are four questions that you have to answer. And I'm, I'm sure the name is wrong, but I will link the right name in the title box. Okay. So there are four questions. And I guess the idea is for you to get to know me a little better. And I thought it would be a good time since I'm coming before you so much more often. Lucky you. All right. So there are four questions. And the first question is, what three things are you good at? Hmm. You would think I would have thought of this before I got on the camera and I thought I had it all figured out, but now that I put it out there, what three things am I good at? Okay, so I would say that I'm good at listening to people and I've been told that I have a counseling spirit, um, meaning that I'm a good listener and I give good advice. And I have been known in my life to be that person that everyone comes to to share information with or to get feedback on. But then I generally don't have anyone that I can go to to get advice from because I'm usually the counselor. So the counselor is going to the counselor. Hmm. So, yeah, that's kind of how that works. So I just talk to myself and, and I do counsel myself. How about that? Um, so that's the first thing I'm good at. The next thing that I'm good at is working with kids. Um, I'm in education. I am an English teacher as well. Um, well, I'm an English teacher who has transitioned into the position of teacher librarian. So I still teach. Um, and I love it. And I guess I love it because... I'm good at building relationships and be, building relationships with children. I teach middle school. Well, I've taught middle school, but now I'm in high school. So I, I love it. I just love talking to them and being silly with them and just listening and getting to know who they are. And so I think I'm pretty good at that. And, hmm. The last thing I would say that I'm good at is, it's hard, other than crafting. I would say writing, because that's my other interest. And I know I sound a lot like Jamie, but you know, she and I just happen to be on the same wavelength and I can't do anything about that. And she knows that. We've ch chatted back and forth about writing interests and education. So those are my three things. And number two, who inspires me? And I think they're talking about who inspires me on YouTube. So um, the crafters that inspire me or artists that inspire me on YouTube are Laura, Laurie Richardson Haley. She has really good techniques that I like to um, watch and try and experiment with. And Yellow Rose Art, I love, love, love everything about her artwork. Um, from the characters she creates, the whimsy, the colors, the technique. Like I could sit and watch her videos over and over and over again and still find something new that I didn't see the first time. Um, Allie Brown, who I recently discovered, and she does a lot with like um, journals and um, what do you call those? Traveler's notebooks and mixed media type. I, I do love her. Little Raven Inc., who I love the whimsy and color and stuff that she does. And then um, Misty Mistil, and I'll spell it. It's M-Y-S-T-E, 
and the next word is M-Y-S-T-E-L-E. Now, I might be pronouncing it wrong, but she has great, great technique and colors and characters as well. And my last person who inspires me, and she's going to probably be surprised, Poet Spice. Now, let me tell you why she inspires me. Poet Spice, girl, you inspire me because you try everything. You are open to everything. You experiment with everything. You share everything. And although I've never personally met you, I feel like you have a genuine good heart. And if we were in the same cities, and I think that we would actually be like buddies because of our similar interests in just our our nature. You inspire me on so many different levels. Um, the the various things that you create from cards and die cuts and digi stamps and yeah. So those are my people that inspire me. The next question is, um, what am I excited about? You already know. I am excited that school is almost over. I love my job. That I do. But I love my summers too. Hey, I love my job and that I do. But I love my summers too. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. I do. I'm super excited about summer. I'm super excited about the fact that my craft room has been reorganized and cleaned. And I have been in here every day since that has happened. And that has been about three or four weeks ago, even on weekdays. Hmm. And that's because the clutter is gone. So I can think and not feel guilty about I'm creating and I should be cleaning. And there's no clutter to distract me. And so... I'm excited because that means my summer is going to be filled with waking up in the morning, having a nice cup of coffee, and crafting. <laughs> okay, last question. What do I do to relax? Crafting is my relaxation, but when I am not crafting, I like to read. I am a bibliophile, although... Reading and writing have been on the back burner since I'm always in my craft room or I'm exhausted from work, but reading and writing, I enjoy those. They relax me. More so reading than writing because for me, I don't have to concentrate with the reading. I just go and lose myself in the book. And I also love going to the beach. I do. I love the beach. I could pack a lunch, take my favorite beach chair, and go to the beach. I don't even have to get in the water because I can't swim anyway. So I just want to take my lunch, eat my snacks, lay in my favorite chair. If I get hot, I'll go dip my feet in the water or my knees or my ankles or whatever. And then I'll come and get myself back in my chair with my book and my snacks, and just chill all day long. That's what I love to do. Oh, and I love going thrift shopping, like Goodwill, yard sales, estate sales, that kind of thing. I love those things. Makes me happy. Yes, yes, yes. And then the last, last thing that I like to do to relax is spend time with my family like little mini road trips, like get in the car and go away for a weekend and just stop at little quaint shops and little random places. That makes me happy. So yeah, that's a little bit about me. Now, who am I tagging for this? Well, um, I don't know who's watching, but I would like to tag Crafty Cake 7 Glow. If you haven't done it, I tag you. Art in the City Creations K. Cage's Beautiful Struggle, either one. And HRH Tiffany, if I got that correctly, Tiffany, you know who you are. Tagging you, honey. 
And then if anyone else feels compelled to join the tag, join in. Love to know a little bit more about you. And I'm glad to share more about myself. So thank y'all for tuning in. Me in the house dress. Thanks for watching.